Hi, good morning. I'm David Witten, and I'm a co-leader of the Troubling the Waters group with Shannon Spence. Uh, when we when we first started this, when I agreed to help lead this, uh, I was immersed in the conversations of how to make peace uh, welcoming and inviting to everyone. We were working on the question of how to make the church more multicultural. Uh, and it, admittedly, that was a very narrow focus. You know, we, we were working with material prepared by the, by the national church and they knew that the church was overwhelmingly white. And the, one of the purposes of the study was, you know, how do we change that? Uh, all of that, all those expectations changed for me the moment we started meeting. Um, I've been on this journey with a group of faithful, caring, educated, kind-hearted friends. Our weekly in-person meetings were wiped out by the pandemic, but we continued to meet by Zoom. And the events of the world, rather than the planned uh, readings and discussion topics, guided us. Ahmaud Arbery and George Floyd thrust us into the real-world discussions of what seemed to me from December to March were I know I need to change, but how? And the problems are so big and I don't know where to start. The tragic killings, the protests, the small changes we have seen so far have given me hope because someone has started. I've read books and articles and watched documentaries and movies on black lives, both in current events and in history that I just would have skipped before and not been aware of. I went with the Troubling the Waters group to the African African American History Museum, where I learned so many new things and saw things I knew before, but in a different light. What I saw that day was American history. I left feeling just horrified at how my white forefathers created the laws and changed the rules and set up the systems to hurt, punish, and penalize people of color. I've led prayers with this group in the last few months more times than I think I have in my entire life before this. Uh, I've been blessed to be a part of this group and I hope to continue to learn and grow and keep figuring out how to trouble the waters. Thank you.